Hey there, folks. You know, I got a few minutes today, and um, I'm going to get on my stump box. I'm not in my official place that I would do the stump, but I'm going to do it today. And today, I want to talk to you guys about energy. Yep, energy. Not like energy that you get from your, your, your uh, outlets at your house or the power that, you know, that the company uses to... to transmit you know radio waves or or internet waves not that type of energy this energy is housed in a person so i'm going to title this video today the energy of fools the energy of fools that energy that comes from inside of all of us, that energy that we manifest, that conscious soul energy that we have. And when it's housed in the body of a fool, hence the title, the energy of fools. You're fools because you expound great amounts of energy on trivial matters. You expound great amounts of energy on bad behavior right and treating others poorly right you capitalize on people's mistakes and you try to invalidate them that type of energy so it's trivial it's not productive energy right it's the type of energy that hurts people you're fools because you fail to see that history repeats itself and you're going to keep making these mistakes over and over again throughout your lives because you're not learning something. On a daily basis, when I deal with people that I encounter, you know, I witness people go out of their way to do the wrong things. And it's really about the distorted levels of energy that they're housing within themselves. And... You know, we see that distortion and it affects us. I get frustrated, you know, on all matters from world global events to just basic humdrum everyday life of dealing with people in business and so forth. The energy of fools, the things that fools do, the, mis the misbehaviors, you know. Now, I don't have any particular stories today to tell you right you know didn't have any experiences today it's kind of early so you know maybe before the day is out i'll have something else but you know my thing is and, and you know thinking about this a lot you know you people have groups that you want to fit into and that causes you to uh, ostracize people who are worth something for all of you people out there who are different you know there's nothing wrong with you, right? There's something wrong with everyone else. And that's where, you know, when you look at it really closely, you'll realize that it's not you. And I've said this before, it's really not you. It's what you're willing to be to the world, how you're willing to service the world, right? Not in a, not in a, in a butler's aspect, but more so what you can offer, the good things you can offer that can build the rest of us up that we can learn from and gravitate to. You know, all of the policies in the world, you know, the different various countries and, you know, the things that, that disenfranchise the public, the very public who uh, supports the leadership and puts them into power or elects them or something. And then you turn around and you shit on these people, the people who who put you in so you could serve their bidding, so you could do, you know, you can service the interests of the country or whoever you're, you're uh, leader, uh, being a leader to, you know? But you take that energy that you have and you figure out diabolical ways to do this or do that, to cut costs, you're greedy, you know, just all of those things. I mean, all of those emotions and actions are low level. And no one listening to this could ever dispute that. 
unless you're dis dysfunctionally distorted in your mind and you just don't understand right from wrong. Now, you, I'm talking to adults, right? You know, if young people want to check out my videos, I welcome that because there's a lot you can learn. But really, you adults, living life should have already given you experiences that you can draw on. You know, things that make you better. You know, those are the things. So I want to talk about that energy because that energy, we need to figure out how to direct that energy and make it positive. You know, instead of tearing down people around you, build yourselves up. You don't have to necessarily cheerlead everyone else, but build yourselves up and then people will follow your examples. Right? No one is asking you to be a a monk or anything but I'm asking you to evaluate your own actions and the things that you do you know that old lady walking in front of you who drops a you know a ten dollar bill or something going in the store pick that money up and give it to her right maybe you'll get more money later on in the day or something maybe you'll find a king's ransom or something maybe you know who knows but you have to be willing to do the right things in the right moments Right. And that is how you define your own characters. If you want to measure who you are, what are you doing when the lights are off? What are you doing when the camera's not on you? What are you doing when you're alone? Who are you? If you're not a good person. Right. Then you, you will be able to evaluate yourself. And you'll be able to figure that out. Now, if you want to do something good. That's where you're redirecting that energy. But when you want to just sit stagnant in that bullshit energy and you want to gravitate to other people who you feel express that energy so you can, for the purpose of suppressing another person. You know, you're an asshole. I talk to many people. I get many emails from people who talk about the stresses on their job. And that's one of my main focuses, right? I'm not just talking to you about behavior in your own minds. I'm talking to you about behavior relative to you in life. The other people who have negative, bad behaviors who affect you, right? It's not something you can ignore when you're working a job and your boss is, you know, playing with your life or, you know, working you seven days a week or something or just doing everything they can do within legal parameters to hurt you where well, you can't prove it, right? A lot of people go to work every day. Most of us, right, are doing something where we're making money, right? And it'd be great if I could, you know, every day sit out on the beach and eat grapes or something. That'd be, that'd be awesome, right? But I have to hustle for right now, right? I have to make moves and to secure the future that I want, right? Now, I'm good right now, but I, there's so much more I can do, and I'm going to strive and keep doing those things. And that's why I recommend you guys do the same thing, see? I'm giving you positive, uh, positive things, right? How to redirect that energy because it's, it's negative. It's not serving you. It's, it's putting you in a more of a rut in your life. You want to blame other people, right? You know, it's their fault. You know, the energy of fools. If I talk to you guys about something that would change your life or some, some new uh, revelation or something that would really you know, be profound, you know, right, to understand or learn. You guys don't want to hear that shit. But you want to talk about the score on the foot at the football game, or you want to talk about who did the best dunk at the, you know, in, in the playoffs or something, right? All of those things are, are good in the moments. They serve the moment, but they're trivial in, uh, in the long scale. They're really trivial. You waste, you waste so much time on things in life. A lot of you kids, you college kids, right? Taking a page from Aaron Clary, you know, a lot of you college kids are misguided, you know, because there was some paradigm put in place for you and your parents followed that. And, you know, I used to do, uh, you know, the, the interesting thing is, you know, years ago, I used to uh, facilitate workshops at colleges and um, we used to do diversity workshops, you know, and this was in my early days. You know, I wasn't quite a conservative yet. You know, my views hadn't uh, fully solidified in my mind, right, about the realities of life. But I, I taught diversity workshops, right? And 
really what I would do is I would really chide those students. I would really push them and challenge them. I would talk about your parents. You're really uh, carbon copies of your parents. Your parents were shit bags. Your parents taught you things and put you in this world and didn't give you enough of what you needed. They sent you out here. They gave you a cookie cutter process or something to live by, some kind of rules to follow. And you thought everything was playing out. You thought that this money was going to come in your life. You thought you were going to get the dream job automatically. You were going to marry the girl of your dreams. And all of these things that your parents instilled in you, right, knowing that they had hardships and knowing that there were bumps on the road for them, but they didn't give you those things, those uh, tidbits in your life. So now you're, you're struggling trying to figure it out. Direct that energy. Direct it. You know? Be like Scorsese or something. Do, do something with that energy. Direct that energy. And make it work for you in your life. Don't stay in a dead-end job. Don't deal with a boss who's going to slave drive you simply for the purpose of suppressing you because they want to feel superior. You know, I remember working a job when I was like a teenager. I remember, you know, some fast food place or something. I can remember the manager walking around with his chest stuck out. You know, I'm the... You know, the freaking, you know, food manager or something. They were walking around with their chest stuck out. And because they were handed some kind of cookie cutter paradigm, right, when they were coming up about what to do and, you know, to be the best or something. There's nothing wrong with being a fast food manager, but I'm making a point that it's a job and you're just a cog on the wheel, right? That's all you are. And when you realize that once you own that fast food operation then you can say well you can have your chest stuck out you can say that you you built something but if you're just working a job and you're part of this cookie cut slave mentality and you're suppressing other people within the paradigm that's put up for you then you're a fucking fool and you're using your energy like a fool you're the energy of fools remember how i started this off the energy of fools this is why you guys are fools you know, so you play games, you spend your life working at a fast food place, making a couple of bucks an hour and you feel like you've accomplished something in your life. I'm not I'm not trying to put it down once again, but I'm just saying that, you know, if you work a job and you understand that that job is just fulfilling something, giving you a paycheck and you're going to try to do better or strive for something, get your own uh, franchise or whatever you're trying to do. If you're doing that, then you're thinking bigger. But when you're just sitting around stagnant doing your bullshit, right? And have the nerve to feel that you're superior to someone when you're really not. It's funny, it's laughable. We, gotta, we have to laugh at you, right? You're a bunch of clowns. You're a bunch of fools. So I want you guys to take, you know, take a moment and think about what you have done in your lives. Are you fools? Are you the very fools that I'm speaking to today? Are you the ones who are sitting stagnant bullshitting around in your lives, hurting other people, right? Thinking that you have achieved something when you have probably done some trivial things in your life that's not even worth anything really in the bigger picture, you know? You know, it's not all about money, you know? Everything is not all about money and, and how much you earn. It's about fulfillment. It's about the things in your life that make you happy. You don't want to grow old working a job all your life and then you're broken. At the, at the end of the rainbow, you're retiring, your back is put out, your fucking knees don't work well, you worked all your life and you don't have anything saved up, you don't have a plan, and that's not what you need to do. And if someone had caught you at an early point in your life, they could have changed that and you would you know, be living, you know, sitting pretty by age 40 or something, right? But no one helped you because they were stuck in their own bullshit rut. They were they're misdirecting their own energies. So I want you guys to think about that. Don't be the fools that I've spoken about today. You know? If you have a comment, I'd like for you to leave it below. And like and share the videos. And reflect. Because that'll help you in your life. Thinking about what I'm saying is going to help you. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm merely just, I'm merely simply stating what is. Because you've been misdirecting that energy and I'm trying to help you.
We'll talk soon. Take care.